up, my peeps? My name is Gaming Lucas, aka Lucas3000. Call me Lucas if you like. And uh, I don't know, where the hell did my other microphone go? I don't know, my other webcam just, uh, I don't know, we went missing in action, and I'm like, where the hell is it? I'm still trying to look for it, and I am fucking confused. Eventually find it, but for now, I'm gonna have to use the old microphone. Anyways, um, let's talk about what I want to talk about today. And that is playing styles. Here's the thing. I'm a COD rusher. I run around the map. I really feel uncomfortable if I do not move around the map constantly. I feel pathetic if I don't. And I, you know, straight up, I hate it. I hate if I'm just sitting in a corner. It feels uncomfortable for me. And there's a lot of people that don't, you know. Some people feel that it's the best tactic ever. Those are the campers. Campers, I don't know. You could define them any way you want. My personal definition for that is the fact that they do not move. Nah, just joking. That's not my definition. That's a whole lot of people's definition. To me, as I started playing this game a lot, I started to learn that was not the case. And I'm lucky I have learned that. My definition of a camper is a dude who waits for their enemy the whole time, you know, around the safe area. Safe area being, of course, you know, freaking around a building or, you know, anywhere around there. I think those is what players always do. And I don't know. I personally feel like, why? Why do they do this? Right? It's just supremely weird for me to, for them to even do that. But I don't know. It's just them. And to me, they ruin my fun. They ruined my fun personally, you know. I like wrecking people. I like knowing the feeling that I just demolished him and he had no chance. And this, and when campers kill me, I feel so unaccomplished. I'm like, God damn, I lost to a dude not even moving. Or God damn, I lost to a dude who didn't even move away from his damn spawn or something like that, right? I feel very unaccomplished when I freaking die. And I don't know why I should, I should even feel accomplished or unaccomplished. Play a video game. But anyway, the thing is, is that playing styles, you know... <clears throat> you know really differ depending on the game for example in modern warfare 2 when i started off of course i started camping and as i got better i started being more of a you know front hitter you know straight up i'm gonna kill you kind of guy black ops came along i became that straight up kind of killer you know in the first couple of months i was trying to figure out you know what was the best style to play with and i found out rushing was my style it worked for me ever since and, you know i love it Modern Warfare 3 comes along, and I'm going to tell you this, you know, forever and ever. I will. I could probably, you know, create a better game masturbating with my eyes closed and, you know, pressing random buttons on a damn keyboard to program this game compared to what these astig of developers called Infinity War created. That, you know, that game really enforces camping. Straight up, I don't know. I don't like Modern Warfare 3 because there's a lot of camping involved. Number one, support. Support is super, you know, enforcive of camping. It's telling you, oh, it doesn't matter. If you die that many times, don't worry. As long as you get 14 kills, you get a multi-kill and you feel proud of yourself. No, bullshit. You have to feel bad. You died 20 times. You do not deserve a kill streak. I don't get that. I don't like support whatsoever. Specialist, I actually like straight up enforces a lot of rushing, but can't so many people don't know how to use it correctly. Perks, stealth perks, especially. <coughs> remember, I'm sick, peeps. Just remember that. It's bullshit, right? Like, here's the thing they separated the perks into three different areas. Like, what? That is stupid. Why don't you put them in the same tier perks so they have the hardest time deciding what to use, right? Now it's like a fucking requirement for them to use Blind Eye, Assassin, and Sit Rep. That was it. And Modern Warfare 3 is just a piece of, piece of shit, straight up. I don't, I do not like it because it enforces camping. Black Ops 2, I damn hope it doesn't enforce camping, right? I, I feel like when I saw the trailer, I'm like, hey, you know, I was somewhere around like, I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. I just hope it's not bad. Because it's looking good right now. I saw the MP7 back, which I'm like, yay. I hope they bring back a kind of like an MP5 kind of version of a gun. Because, of course, this is in the future. But I sure hope that, you know, of course, this game comes out, you know, personally good without enforcing camping. So, really, that's it. Remember, COD 4, great game. Didn't really enforce camping. Campers were snipers or something like that until they learned how to spin around like a ballerina and 
that they were able to hit shots. World at War didn't enforce a lot of camping because it was kind of like a COD 4 kind of style, but, you know, still kind of did. <sighs> Modern Warfare 2, piece of shit. Black Ops, okay, boring, but it did enforce somewhat camping. Modern Warfare 3, Camp Fest. But that's about it, peeps. By the way, peeps, you know how I always do a song every time, you know, when Black Ops 2 is about to end? I'm going to do that. I'm going to start doing it now. I'm going to start, you know, working on the song so I can post it on later here on this channel. But that's about it, peeps. Till next time, I'm out.